Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about epidemiology. The goal of this video is to introduce students to some elementary ideas of epidemiology in public health. At the end of this video, students should acquire an elementary knowledge of what epidemiology is all about and its role in public health. First of all, what is epidemiology? Epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinant of health-related events in populations and the application of this study to the understanding and control of health problems. A common example of a health-related event is disease. When individuals in a population are coming down with, say, measles, epidemiologists are concerned with establishing the what, the who, and the why question. What individuals and groups have the disease? Who is at risk of getting the disease? and why they might be at risk. It is hoped that this knowledge will enable health officials to understand how to control outbreaks of the disease. Although the word epidemiology sounds an awful lot like epidemics, however, epidemiology is not solely concerned with epidemics. All health-related events are of interest to epidemiologists, and the principles of epidemiology are applied all across board. When the term health-related event is used, it may refer to a contagious disease an environmental situation that is dangerous to health or even an accidental injury. In searching for explanation about health-related events, epidemiologists are typically concerned with the following question. Which individuals have experienced the event? When did they experience the event? Where are the individuals who have experienced the event? And what environmental factors are associated with the event? As the basic science of public health, epidemiology includes the study of the frequency, pattern, and causes of health-related states or events in populations, and the application of that study to address public health issues. Epidemiologists use a systematic approach to assess the what, the who, the where, the when, and the why of these health states or events. Core epidemiologic tasks of a public health epidemiologist include public health surveillance, field investigation, research, evaluation, and policy development. In carrying out these tasks, the epidemiologist is almost always part of a team dedicated to protecting and promoting the public's health. Epidemiologists look at differences in disease and injury occurrence in different populations to generate hypotheses about risk factors and causes. They generally use a cohort or case control study to evaluate this hypothesis. Knowledge of basic principle of disease occurrence and spread in a population is essential for implementing effective control and prevention measures. Meanwhile, the word epidemiology comes from the Greek word epi, meaning on or upon, demos, meaning people, and logos, meaning study of. In other words, the word epidemiology has its roots in the study of what befalls a population. Many definitions have been proposed, but the following captures the underlying principles and public health spirit of epidemiology. Disease distribution. On disease distribution, epidemiology is concerned with the frequency and pattern of health events in a population. Frequency refers to not only the number of health events, such as the number of cases of meningitis or diabetes in a population, but also to the relationship of that number to the size of the population. The resulting rate allows epidemiologists to compare disease occurrence across different populations. Meanwhile, Pattern refers to the occurrence of health-related events by time, place, and person. Time patterns may be annual, seasonal, weekly, daily, hourly, weekdays versus weekends, or any other breakdown of time that may influence disease or injury occurrence. Place patterns include geographic variation, urban or rural differences, and location of work sites or schools. Personal characteristics include demographic factors, which may be related to risks of illness, injury or disability such as age, gender, marital status and socioeconomic status as well as behaviors and environmental exposures. Characterizing health events by time, place and person are activities of descriptive epidemiology discussed in more details later in this video. Epidemiology and determinants of health. Determinants are any factor, whether events, characteristic or other definable entities that brings about a change in a health condition or other defined characteristics. Epidemiology is also used to search for determinants, which are the causes and other factors 
that influence the occurrence of disease and other health-related events. Epidemiologists assume that illness does not occur randomly in a population but happens only when the right accumulation of risk factors or determinants exist in an individual. To search for these determinants, epidemiologists use analytic epidemiology or epidemiologic study to provide the why, the how of such events. They assess whether groups with different rates of disease differ in demographic characteristics, genetic or immunologic makeup, behaviors, environmental exposures, or other so-called potential risk factors. Ideally, the findings provide sufficient evidence to direct prompt and effective public health control as preventive measures. As a study, epidemiology is a scientific discipline with sound methods of scientific inquiry at its foundation. Epidemiology is data-driven and relies on a systematic and unbiased approach to collection, analysis, and interpretation of data. Basic epidemiologic methods tend to rely on careful observation and use of valid comparison groups to assess whether what was observed, such as the number of cases of disease in a particular area during a particular time period, or the frequency of an exposure among persons with disease, differ from what might be expected. However, epidemiology also draws on methods from other scientific fields, including biostatistics, informatics, with biologic, economic, social, and behavioral sciences. In fact, epidemiology is often described as the basic science of public health. Our reasons include, firstly, epidemiology is a quantitative discipline that relies on working knowledge of probability, statistics, and sound research method. Secondly, epidemiology is a method of reasoning based on developing and testing hypotheses grounded in such scientific fields such as biology, behavioral sciences, physics, and ergonomics to explain health-related behaviors, states, and events. However, epidemiology is not just a research activity but an integral component of public health, providing the foundation of directing practical and appropriate public health action based on this science reasoning. We will be going into greater details of various components of public health and epidemiology on this YouTube channel. Therefore, make sure you subscribe here so you don't miss any of these learning videos. Like and share if this video was valuable and leave your comments below.